Okay. Got it. Hello, everybody. Well, welcome to uh, Friday. It's uh, it was great to see all of you, many of you yesterday, Thursday. Um, I got a feeling of what it what it feels like to be up so late at night that many of you experience. Um, today we're in uh, still in Greece. We're in uh, the beautiful location of Santorini. Um, kind of rainy today, but it's supposed to be 90 degrees tomorrow. So kind of looking forward to that. Um, with us today, uh, we have uh, Giovanni Balzarini from Italy. And Giovanni is going to be showing um, the watercolor sticks. There he is. Hello, Giovanni. The Hello. watercolor sticks and also the, the um, watercolor ground. So Giovanni has used uh, both of them extensively. And now would be a great time to ask any questions that you might have about these two mediums. Um, the stick, when we were at uh, um, Bologna, many people came to the table and said, it talked about a pastel stick. And they're not pastels. They're actually uh, pure watercolor uh, with a, enough gum arabic to hold them together. So they're, they're really very, very highly pigmented watercolor sticks. It's the same pigment and the same binder as are in the tubes and the pans. The only difference is the amount of water, the least amount of water in the pans, the next is the stick and the last is the tubes. So Giovanni is um, extremely talented, has used them um, considerably and can answer any question that you might have. And with that, I'm gonna go over to Giovanni. Giovanni, good to see you again. Good to see you, John, and to all of you. I'm ready. Okay. Okay. So with that, why don't, why don't you take it away? And, and if you're on Zoom, uh, by all means, ask questions directly to Giovanni. And if you're on Facebook, I'm going to ask uh, Ethel, Anna, um, Gabriel is still stuck in Italy, so he's going to be more of a viewer. Um, we will try to get your messages over to Giovanni. Giovanni. Okay. Thank you, John, for your presentation. And I'm glad to, to see you. Um, tonight, I, I explain um, in a better mode. I tried my best, uh, sorry for my English, obviously. Uh, they connect the, the stick with the, with the ground. I try to color for them in a, in a pastel mode, the titanium white ground. I use in a, in a, in a big box and, and try to replace this box. And uh, uh, now in this box, I use them, the color ground uh, tinted with the, the watercolor tubes. And uh, tonight I use the water, uh, watercolor stick for tinted the, the ground. Uh, first of all, I explained uh, the ground, I, I remember the, the, words, the John words. This is a, not a pastel. This is a perfect watercolor tools for plain air artists and for all of the artists. Because in my style, my hyper realistic style, I use for the detail. I take the watercolor stick in my finger and with my brush, take the color and put every part of my of my painting. Um, for the take the color in the in the sticks, I have um, three tips, with three types of brush. I use the flat brush, with small. I use the small brush, very, very small for me. And I use the liner, the rigger for take the color. The first, okay, take the water, have a two meters, or put in the water the sticks and take with the brush. But in this case, have a little dry brush, or take the brush and take, have a huge color. With the flat brush. The small brush is important because uh, not take the color in, uh, in this side, but on the top, 
because uh, I create the hole perfect for take the color and for and uh, don't follow down the color. For example, in my white titanium white for the the tail or my saying my painting, I create the hole and don't have a problem for the color falling down in my my paper. I use a huge quantity of water, don't have a problem. Yes, the sticks don't have a problem in the humid area because it's a perfect tool for the process of extrusion, have a little part of water and perfect and they use water, it's a new one. With the rigger is a, have a, another two meters for the use the, this brush because many people um, asking me, uh, is, a, is a problem using the rigger, take the color with the rigger. It's not a problem because only with the cutter create engraved it. Sure. And the water. And this is perfect for the river. Or if you prefer the entire line in the stick. I remove one part of Don't throw the dust on the stick because it's important. And when I have the, the rigger with long hair, put inside perfectly okay. in the sticks and take my quantity of color. You made that look so easy, Gio. <laughs> the stick is a versatile color because it's a, it's a beautiful, very, very beautiful tool. In my, my hand, I have a five stick. I decide the color when uh, using the, in the painting. For example, in this, when I made my black background, I, I decided in my, my finger, the, the three color, uh, the, the first layer, the second layer, and the, the third layer with the lamb black. Now I try this. This is the case, the beautiful case, plastic case for your sticks separately, one by one or five by five, for example, one by one. And when I decide this, then for my black background, I use the yellow, red, and lamb black. Okay, I take my cap, ceramic cap with the dropper, and decide the, the first layer. Gia, yeah. how much water does this cup hold? Is a uh, usually I decided what when I'm for my painting size, one cup or, now I use only five millimeters of water. And diluted the color, put 
mine. Sea sponge. I buy in Thessaloniki. <laughs> in Urianopolis, I remember John yesterday. <laughs> the fisherman of Urianopolis. And I create my text to my paper, my first glaze. If you want, I decided for my thick with brush. And more strong backside in the bottle. And for the black, this is my favorite, absolutely beautiful color, is lamb black. I use a huge quantity of lamb black. Gia, when you're using the sponge, uh, how many layers can you do with the sponge? Usually minimum 10 layers, 10 layers. Um, now I show the painting, uh, remember in Bologna, uh, arrive on the 15 layers, 15 layer. one stick, completed one of long black stick. Okay, and you move on. Hey. Okay. What percentage of a uh, stick to water uh, would you say this is? The, the first layer, the percent is half and half. But when I'm um, in the other layers, then the stick is more and the, the water is very, very, very low. Because when I the, the, the layer dry, I pick in my finger the sticks and with the brush number now is I use three zero mop put the white all when it's completely black obviously Gio yes. some people may be wondering uh what kind of water you're using for the sticks the still water. Does it have to be hot? No. I prefer still water because I don't have a problem for the efflorescence problem in the future, especially with the black. What type of paper are you using? Now I use the Fabriano Artistico 100% cotton. It is. Fabriano full press. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. And now don't admit the more water, but admit the sticks. Giovanni? Yes? Can I ask you a question? Yes. Absolutely. When I have to break the paper uh, of the stick, uh, can I use the, um, um, the kitchen wrap to hold in my hand uh, the stick? Mm. The film, the film, uh, the film that I use uh, in uh, in the kitchen, because uh, if uh, if uh, uh, if the paper breaks or I have to cut it. Um, maybe the pigment uh, uh, goes uh, on my hand. So what can I do? 
Yes, yes and no, because my, my was um, for carti le mani. Dico, quando si consuma a un certo punto devi tagliare la, la carta? Yes. Ok. Now, try more, more, more layer. And um, the stick is perfect long for three half pints, similar. And now cutting. And use the one drop for glue. And take it in your pan. It's perfect. One stick is um, three or four of pens and if you want prepare your personal mixes with one part of this color and one part of this color this is permanent glycerin cream so and Did you part. just cut some of that stick off? And... Yeah. Oh my goodness. And this is Talo Turquoise. And have uh, your pants are mixed directly on the half pan. For the special effects. <laughs> Mix it directly on the half pan. Okay. Now I try to sit the the ground. I I remember this is not a pass. It's possible to draw, but the best mode is take the color with the brush. Is a is a state of mind because this is a pure watercolor, have a little part of water for the process production and very, very pigmented. Non si dice che lei ha fatto questo, ma infatti l'arte della perfetta colore. Infatti dice che ha usato sempre gli stick per tanti anni, ma non così. This is perfect, please. Okay. Now, okay. I try to re re replay for, for this. This is a book box and I use the um, various ground. The ground um, is a... Geo? Is it, yeah? Um, just before I proceed for this, there's, there's a question from Agnes. Uh, from yeah. Facebook. She's wondering why you cut the sticks. Those three colors in, in one half pan, cut and put them in that half pan. Because for, for create your personal mix in a half pan with the sticks, it's only a um, simple tips. Thank you. You're welcome. And then um, the ground is in uh, this format in a uh, one. 118 millimeters have a six color transparent, Mars black, titanium white, pearlescent white, buff titanium, and iridescent gold. It's a perfect ground for every surface. The body surface showing in a, in a in a wood with titanium white, in a glass, in various object glass. And for the 
John in a Christmas bowl <laughs> with iridescent gold and uh, uh, lamb black sticks with my 20 zero brush for create the Daniel Smith logo. And on a cardboard and on a plastics. Most important for the ground is um, for the better result, have a minimum four layers. Show is one layer, two layer, three layers, or four. One layer, two layer, three layer, and four layer. Most important for um, is uh, for the the layer when I use the brush, not the the sponge brush, but when I use the brush, it's important the second layer crossing is in the another sense. For example, I'll show you the first layer in this side, the second layer in this, in this side, third layer in this side, four layer in this side. For one layer to two layer, little sanding with the sand sponge, with a simple sand sponge, little sanding because I removed the liner for the brush. Is not problem because when uh, use the, the sponge brush because I don't have the, the line because it's better for sand, sandy because I have um, the the layer connecting better for one layer to layer because the surface for example. When I use the the brush the surface create disease. In the upside side, the second layer is create this. It's better to connection, little sandy. Use the this sponge sandy, especially on the wood, because it's a perfect and don't don't have, don't have a strong, but it's perfect to remove the, the, the hair or good hair. Or if you prefer, I use the, the steel hair or prepare the surface. Okay. Now, for example, for the, the new wood box, I use the Mars Black only two layer. The, another most important um, question, the, the ground dry naturally, not use the hair dryer or another tips for dryer because the, the element have, is, is better dry naturally for the, the component of, the, of this, 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 this tool. Okay, now I apply. Okay. Okay. For example, now I paint it with my sticks. The little surface on Mars Black. Ivan, eh? Yeah. Uh, with regard putting paint onto a, a flat wood surface, have you thought about using a, a, a one of those squeegees that they use uh, for cleaning windows with the rubber edge? And you could apply it like that and then you won't get brush strokes on your on your wood. Yeah. It's almost like a screen printing process. Absolutely. Apply my masking tape. It's a little modeling 
masking tip or, or use for the, for example, for the decoration gum tape or curves. We have a question from Facebook yeah. from Kristen Clark asking, have you tried the transparent ground on wood so that the grain shows through? This is transparent ground. If you want the, the prefer the, mm -hmm. the wood surface, I use the transparent ground. All, this is the only two, two layer is perfect. Now I prepare my. Yeah, absolutely. Then why? It's possible to deal with the ground only ten percent of water. I take my little part of ground. And I use my sticks. A little. Cover the ground. The stick is perfect because I have a huge pigment. Now I decided to use or brush for the, the layer. Or use the sponge <clears throat> for the texture. Geo. Yeah. The first layer was black brown. Yeah, and now can. you've taken uh, a colored uh, from a stick, to yeah. like titanium ground, and you're adding it to another layer. Is that what I'm watching? Yeah. Nice. Okay. Take another caps for the. It's on your white or oh, iridescent gold. No, I use Giovanni. The... Yeah. Giovanni, uh, the no, idea no. of uh, layering ground over another ground is because you want to achieve some depth texture. What? Yeah, for the for the texture. No, the, the, the thickness is, um, is, is not important on the, when I decorated the, the, after the, Mars, the, the, the ground of Mars Black. But I used the, another ground for the, only for, um, for tips, an idea. Giovanni. Yeah. Uh, is is the ground a, a gesso? No, it's, it's different. Gesso is another um, another tools, another tips. The ground is for only for the watercolor painting for all um, all surface for preparing surface for watercolor. So so this is acrylic you... gesso is different. Acrylic gesso. So, what what I'm thinking of is when you when you've put the paint into the ground, that will make it acting in a like an acrylic, so it won't re wet after. No, that. no, that's not correct. No, no, the water the the watercolor ground is a modified acrylic. A, a gesso becomes impervious to water, whereas the yeah. watercolor ground, we've modified the acrylic to be permeable. 
And so long as you put 10% or less, like Giovanni did, of a watercolor color, which is also permeable, um, it's, it still remains to be a permeable surface. Right. I see. So it can be reused after. Uh, once the watercolor is ground, once the watercolor has dried, however, it is no longer permeable. So it, it, it becomes permanent. Mm -hmm. It's permanent. Yeah. I mean, you can still paint on it, yeah. um, but you're not going to be able to mix it. Right. This is cobalt blue. It's important now in this moment the, the sequence of uh, tinting the ground because when I use the in the cup, uh, put in the cup the, the first the ground and I use the little bit of color with the stick, create a pastel mold. Mm -hmm. But when it's possible, change the sequence. I use the water with the stick diluted and put inside the, the little bit of ground. The difference is very, very good. This is a little blue. How does that work if you were to use transparent ground and then add the stick pigment to the transparent ground? Could you create glazes like we have in, in oil? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. If you want, I use the transparent ground now for create the, the decoration and but I I want the, the black on the background. Gio? Yeah. Can the transparent ground be used as a sealant over watercolor painting? Um, yes. Uh, no. Yes, I know. No, remove the, the watercolor because it's a different surface. Now, for example, it's only simple. This is a simple for all, for this ground tinted similar. This is a mod to create this. And now create the in the in the wood with the transparent watercolor ground, and I use my better tips with the sticks, three color. Gio, Leonor yeah. uh, from Zoom asks whether, have you used an acry acrylic um, instead of, now it's wood, but can you use ground on an acrylic? Mm -hmm. Can acrylic I use? Sheet on an acrylic, acrylic sheet. Oh yeah. I pick in my finger the sticks right the side and they create. May I ask a follow up question? Is it possible for us to use the watercolor ground on mylar or a UPO or something that has a lot of flexibility like the paper has? Um, will that maintain its longevity or will it crack over time with the flexibility of the under layer? Is a, on paper is a, is a not better mode because the paper is paper. The ground is a studying for the all the surface, but the, you know, on, especially on the U pore is not good because the problem that's scraping on in the future. So does it have to be on a hard ground to put the watercolor ground onto a, a hard surface? All the surface. What All about surface. flexible surface? Yeah. I create my decoration tick. 
And the sticks is perfect for this moment because I am the color in my hand. Anna, that's actually a really good question because I was just thinking if you were to put uh, the clear watercolor ground on some like that uh, kinesthetic tape, like that tape that uh, athletes use, it has that nice texture to it. And you possibly could like uh, paint on it now. Uh, as opposed to if you were to put watercolor on that type of tape, it would just uh, just get all blotty. But if you were to put the, a thin layer of the watercolor ground, um, it would still be able to move and bend uh, once you stuck it to someone's body. That's a great question. And the next logical question is, can you put it on a face? Right? Yeah. You say, can you put it on your clothes? Right, because then you yeah. can start watercoloring on your own clothing. Yeah, I would not recommend putting it on clothes. We, we have never found that to work. It's, 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 although it seems it's super complex, clothing is really complex. It, it hasn't worked. And one of the comments was, can you paint it over a finished painting? You don't really want to apply the watercolor ground as more of a substrate. So you don't really want to put it over the top of a finished painting. It's not really a varnish or something of that nature. In, in my college experience, um, I put acrylic paint onto a t-shirt with a, a motif. It went on fine, but it, it became rock hard and not usable as a material. But there is a, a chemical that you can actually get to mix in with acrylic that makes it more pliable. Yeah, I think the big thing is, yes, some of that can certainly be done, but the, at the end, it, it's a substrate for watercolor. So we're really talking more, more than just the, the products of being a modified acrylic, it's, painting on a modified acrylic with watercolor, which is always going to be soluble. However, you know, art is a journey and you can always try something to see if it works. My, my motto is I tried, I failed. <laughs> <laughs> but at least I tried. And then we tried and, it. And, <laughs> that's a good one. Uh -huh. Maybe you could try a performance piece and uh, put some watercolor clear ground on a banana before you tape it to the wall. Well, I tell you what, if I can make 120,000 uh, pounds off a banana, I'm up for it, definitely. I want half. <laughs> You're driving our bargain. It's a simple way with the transparent, but if you want with the titanium white. It's, this is very fast, but now for them, for example, you want, I read one question on, on, a, on the chat. Do, is possible to remove the watercolor on a ground? Okay, great. Thank you, the water. Does the ground work best on non uh, permeable surfaces like glass. I remove the color. It's, it's possible. It's not removed completely, but it is possible because the ground is is a is a the surface create similar to paper for the water. <laughs> very very good. And now, for example, the shape. I try to use the iridescent on the black surface. Okay. Giovanni, that was a candy jar that we can often use in a in the kitchen. So in order to protect the watercolor on your watercolor ground, do you have to seal it? Do you have to put a varnish or a seal over it? 
No, no, because the um, it, it's similar to, to the, the watercolor on the paper, but in the in the um, in the kitchen is better to protect. But it's said to you. Thanks. A question to John. Yeah. Um, yeah. Watercolor paper has. Um, it's guaranteed for um, if you use it right for hundreds of years. Uh, what what kind of like if you put this surface on anything? What what kind of uh, life expectancy does it have? So acrylics have been. It's an acrylic. And acrylics have been around so far about 75 years. Yeah, um, they're, 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 so this is, there's several types of acrylics. There's acrylic latex, very similar to what you paint your house with. Um, not a very long life, maybe 20 years. Yeah. This is an acrylic polymer, um, very similar to high grade acrylic paint. So it has a, it, it's very, very, um, very stable. Yeah. Now, for example, I use a different mold, dual chrome and the iridescent on the Mars black on glass. I use in a traditional mold. But is, is it possible on the ground? The color wet on wet. A similar surface to paper is a beautiful, very, very beautiful. What is this? Is the electric blue? The new stick, John, is beautiful. <laughs> the stick is a, or a 51 color, and the, the new color is available on. Near November, John. The new color sticks. Yeah, November. Yeah. Contain. And it's possible to mix it on the ground. Wet on wet or dry on wet. In every surface. This is the new color sticks, iridescent electric blue. This is um, my tubes uh, squeezing the half pan, but the new sticks color is important to take with brush, change your state of mind. Is a perfect. It's similar to, I have a, a surface is similar to paper, but I have a more flat surface for mixing, moving the my object. Is the better mode. That's very nice, Giovanni. Thank you, John. And I remember my side. Titanium white, I create my hole. Oops. And create my sign. I don't use the, the gouache, but I use titanium white very strong on the every surface and same in my paint. And the last. Using my, my 
plastics with the this angle I have um, three layer remember one on this side this side and this side little sandy use um, is um, better the, the sand sponge not paper uh, sand because the sand sponge is very soft it's better I use this for example is that the number is a 1000 gram of sand it's very very little it's possible to use it wet or on dry in the surface and try it my sticks and Okay. And now I show my my last painting when I use the, the stick bed black background. This is a large my for example I use the stick with sponge. I started from the, the light and arriving from the dark. It's better view on the my front camera. Mm -hmm. That's lovely, Gio. Thank you. Okay. Any question? I explain my tips for the every surface. Now it's dry. It's perfect for the, the glaze. For example, in um, when I dry, I took my lamb black okay. Giovanni yep. uh, what percentage of time do you use your your sticks sorry uh, uh, is, is, is that your main thing that you use the sticks or would you say the other paints are uh, the thing. Um, what's the CK I use? The, the color, sorry. Uh, no, no, which, what, which percentage? Which one? How yeah. much? Okay. <laughs> I, don't, I don't understand, sorry. Do you, do you use the painting, do you use the tube more than the stick or the stick more than the tube in your paintings? Which one is your, your, your favorite? Or the, um, oh, okay, sorry. Uh, for the black background, I use more the sticks because I, I prefer for the high pigment. Uh, and uh, for the rest of painting, uh, half and half. But the, the main is the sticks. Now is the sticks. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. For example, I use it for the, the lamb black for another layer. I covered my black in my white hole with the sticks for example in in this uh, in my last painting i used this for 15 layer and i continue with my sponge not water but the sticks it's very very different because it's Pure, pure color. Do you, find, do you find that the sticks have more covering power? It was a question from Carol. Yes, it's more, more covering. Or use these, but is, I remember it's not pastel. The better mode with the brush because 
the pressure is different and take the color if you want. May I ask a follow-up question for John uh, on this subject? Is the ratio of gum Arabic the same between all the products or is the ratio of gum Arabic different for the different stick pan tube products? So the gum Arabic is different in the sticks. We, we use enough to hold the pigment load together. Um, the sticks have a tremendous amount of, of pigment load. Um, the pans and the um, tubes are very, very similar to begin with as a batch, but then in terms of um, evaporation, the, the pans are, are, are extremely more condensed. Yeah. Okay, I, I hope I explain very well. And uh, the last is very easy to traveling <laughs> for some. It's very, very easy. Have a beautiful color. And thank, thank you, John, for creating this. You are very welcome. You're just fantastic to watch, Giovanni. Thank you. You're welcome. So precise. Yeah. Any questions? <laughs> Anyone on Zoom, you can ask Giovanni any questions directly about the um, ground or the sticks. May we see a detail of your painting a moment longer, the beautiful one you showed earlier? Yeah. Another painting? Yeah. Absolutely. Is that big size? Well, he's getting uh, Sorry. Uh, it was actually really easy to go through the airport with the watercolor sticks to uh, Europe. Uh, it was quite funny. They saw the sticks. They're like, oh, with that many colors, they're like, you're an artist. <laughs> Breaking news. I've just ordered five new sticks. Oh my God. <laughs> what we got, what have I ordered? Uh, Imperial purple. Quinacridone, uh, even if I couldn't say it. Burnt orange. That's right. Uh, Quinn Coral. I made a blooper with that because I've ordered two. <laughs> but I'll use them. Is uh, another green. Yeah, it's bigger. It's a serious bother. Mm -hmm. I use uh, only six pond, only the sticks. Uh, only the sticks. It's, it's creating granulation through layers, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's a six sponge texture. Yeah. Okay, I try like this more. Mm -hmm. The values are so strong with that one, mm. with this series. Yeah, is that, is that this or no series? I started yeah, for paintings. That's something that a lot of watercolor artists struggle with, uh, getting that extremely strong, vibrant color. And people give up after a while with watercolor because you just can't get that that vibrancy. Yeah. Uh, I, I feel like that's more of a beginner issue, yeah. uh, not necessarily a watercolor issue, because no. uh, Giovanni is very strategic in how much water he's using with the stick. Um, mm -hmm. You know, I see a lot of mid-tone paintings that don't have dark darks because people have saturated their paint so much that's a dried up tube. And we're not having those issues with the sticks. The stick is a perfect Gabriel because I'm um, completely very style for plein air, for studio, for hyper realistic style. I have, have directly the color in my hand. I took the just quantity is perfect. I use it now for the, the last page, I use only the sticks. I have the, the better result for the IP melted color. It's very, very beautiful, John. How many? Facebook, oh, sorry, on Facebook, they were asking what colors you were using in those paintings. In those paintings, I use a 
the primary is plum black <laughs> everywhere. And uh, for the um, first uh, glaze, you use a hair size yellow medium um, and uh, permanent alizar in crimson and cobalt teal blue for the glaze. And then another only lamb black, lamb black, lamb black everywhere. How many of the sticks are on your dot card, Gio? Now is my, my dot card. Yeah, on my tops. I use the cobalt blue now. In my docker, I use the lunar black, but now I use the lamb black. Neutral tint is the new watercolor six in November. And thank you for this, John. Is a bandit brown, Prussian green, cat new, red new hue. This is my, my palette and I use all the sticks every time is beautiful, beautiful tools. It's very, very beautiful. Gio, Gio can you do a complete uh, background using the sea sponge or would it be uh, modeled and not smooth? Yeah, yeah, I use the, um, the um, for the, First 10 layers, I use the sponge. And um, in the medium layer, I use the, the brush with the stick uh, for covering the white hole remains. And the last layer, only the sponge. Awesome. For creative, because I don't like the, the back background flat with the sponge and the brush um, for the famous techniques pointillism in the, uh, I prefer because I, I create the, the movement on the black, mm -hmm. the shadowing inside. Okay, i show another time. For example, in the, in the black area, it's not very, very flat. I, I create the, the movement, the various shadow, little shadow on the black. I prefer this, not the completely flat black. This, this is a 50 Beautiful. layers, 50 layers. 50 layers? Yeah, this is a 50 layer with sticks. Mm -hmm. One, wow. I destroy one uh, lamb black sticks entire. <laughs> wow. Wow. Uh, yeah. And this paper uh, is a um, Fabriano Artistico, 640 grams. Mm -hmm. uh, only extra white, the, the perfect with the sticks because the soft press, so, uh, soft press, because the extra white with the sticks, uh, the color is very, very vibrant. That's amazing. I've got a technical question, Giovanni. Yeah. Uh, when, because I'm thick as two short planks, uh, I'm scared about taking the, um, where is it? I'm scared about taking the wrapper off because I know if I take them off, I won't know which colors they are. So how, how, do, you, how, how do you resolve that? Bottom to the top. Just leave it on or keep it close to it or? It's a characteristic of sticks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I'm just scared to take them off. Because I'll think, hey, first, oh, oh, which, which colour is that? <laughs> but that's me, me fading brain cells. I don't, I, I don't care. Uh, it's perfect. <laughs> uh, I would suggest just start from the bottom so that you can still read the colour at the top. Mm. Or do you like Geo said, in a uh, work in a cone like shape where you work down in to the paper that's around the stick, right? Mm -hmm. John could make some extra wide sticks so he could do that. Half oh. the length and yes. you, know, you can also mark the box. In Facebook, Buffy Kaufman also commented, uh, maybe write the color on each of the plastic compartments so that you label the plastic container that you put them into. 
Voila. Yeah. Probably. Probably. This is my, my personal container, but the Daniel Smith container is this. <laughs> it's perfect because it's very low thickness and mm -hmm. separate one by one or take the five. I created, for example, my my personal bootcase. I take nine. Oh. And then inside, I use the, the ground for try my sticks. Mm -hmm. Nice. <laughs> Put that color on it. Yeah. Are you saying that you also do woodwork, Giovanni? Sorry? You're making these boxes, you also do carpentry? Yeah, yeah. Totally, I'm making. Yeah. I like the, the, the wood making. <laughs> Bravo. Your paper, do you stretch your paper or do you work wet and wet or just uh, dry on dry? Mm, dry on dry. Okay. Dry on do, you, dry. do you stretch your paper? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. We did it in, uh, on the table, wood table, stretching the paper, dry on dry. Amazing, totally amazing. Thank you. Very nice. Giovanni, thank you very much. Thank you very, very much. I do the best. Nice. Thank you, Giovanni. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Very inspiring. Giovanni, thank you for demonstrating. It's very nice of you. Thank you to Amazing Color John. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Giovanni. Bye, bye. Thank you, guys. I got mixed That's up with the time. <laughs>